experiment with your kids will Hey, welcome back to Living Dayton on this Tuesday. Sally putting on her glasses right now. We're about to have some more fun with science, but I'm more ready. safety first. I'm Sa ready. Safety first, right? And we saw what happened just a few minutes ago with these little rockets, these projectiles that were happening. So before we get into actually what was going on, I mentioned Newton's Law. So objects at rest, like this container here, will just sit here and not do anything unless we make it do something, unless an outside force acts on it, right? Mm -hmm. So the gas inside that we were producing from that effervescent tablet, mm -hmm. what it was doing was creating a gas, and that gas was expanding, and when we put the cap on this, the gas builds pressure, and it obviously it can't do anything else but finally release. So then we actually explore Newton's third law, so um, equal and opposite forces, right? So what happens is the gas pushes down, this canister shoots up. So wouldn't it be cool to take this to like the next level and shoot multiple of these at the same time? Because when we were doing them, it was hard to get them to kind of time at the same time, right? Right. Um, let's do it. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. All right. Here. So what we have here is um, I just want to show everybody how we're doing this. So I have an empty 35 millimeter film canister, which nobody uses anymore. No one uses these, <laughs> but Dog Camera actually collects these. And oh, so if cool. you need to get a couple of these versus buying them online, you can go grab them. So you put that in. Take a little PVC pipe and put that in there so the tablet can sit on it because we don't want it interacting with the water right away. Then we put some water in it. Is the pipe going to go flying out too? No, the pipe shouldn't go flying out. <laughs> okay. And then what we do is we put the effervescent tablet in and then we cap it. Which is basically an Alka-Seltzer. It's an Alka-Seltzer, yes. yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you carefully cap these with me. Okay. Because when we do that, and then I'm going to... Have you hand it to me? We're going to slide it underneath here. All right. Cat. Because if it pops now, all it's going to do is hit up against our little metal rack. Okay? But what's really cool is by doing this, we are allowing ourselves... You're giving yourself some, some time here, right? Well, we're going to flip them over all at oh, once. Oh, okay. So let's... Oh, go ahead and push that in there. Let's go. Oh, okay, see those little magnets. So oh, magnets. I so what we're going to do now... Science. It's so cool. Is we're going to flip this... <laughs> Yeah. And, and now, there's nothing over us. And now we have all of these reactions taking place. And some are going to go higher than others. Um, hopefully, they start popping. Oh. <laughs> one more. Come on. It's the Sally one. It's the Sally one. Pop Sally. Sally's over there with the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so, what we have here is an obvious example of how fun this can be. So, this is a demonstration, right? Yeah. If you want to change this into an experiment, maybe use half a tablet or a quarter of a tablet. Maybe just the amount of water that you're using, or even use a different liquid to see, does it have an impact on how this reaction takes <laughs> place? <laughs> there and go. just like that, uh, Alka-Seltzer tablets at CVS just are skyrocketing now. <laughs> <laughs> are going, because everybody's watching this. Hey, this was a lot of fun here today, and you know what? This is something that people could easily do at home. Absolutely. And you showed all the tools to use. If anybody really wants to sit down, I don't need my safety glasses anymore, of course. We're seeing some videos of some of the other cool things that you do. I think you made a rocket out of a Pringles can. Yeah, so they were using hydrogen, and I purged the um, air out of the can with hydrogen, and then I lit the top, and as the air was rushing back in, it creates combustion. It's just like a little engine or the rocket. It's what propelled it up to go into the air. So pretty cool stuff. Well, Learning Science is fun, as we just saw. The website, learningscienceisfun.com. That's the place you're going to go to watch all Mr. C's videos and learn a thing or two about the world. Thank you so much. For Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thank you.